Welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, views, positive comments, as always. Um, today we're going to discuss uh, budget-friendly DCC locomotives and some train show finds that I've recently purchased the last train show and some tips. Right here we have a Walther's Mainline GP9. I obviously painted over the New Haven and decaled it with CR patches because that's the theme of my layout. I added some weathering. I still need to finish all the weathering on my models. It's not a huge deal to me right away. What I'd like to talk about though, this engine was around $150. Comes with the ESU uh, decoder. Nothing crazy. It has. I think 12, 12 functions, the multiple horns. For $150, it's only about 40, 50 bucks more than your standard DC engine without sound. And I've seen them low as like 130 bucks on sale at the online retailers for models, I guess they had uh, overstock over leftover. They actually had a Conrail one for 120 bucks on model train stuff, but it had a low nose and I, I think they look funny with low noses. That's my opinion. But uh, we'll start this up, give, give it a listen. It does have F9 as the drive hold function. Now, if you're at running speed, say you're going speed step 20, you can hit F9 on these models and still move your throttle to change your engine RPM and it will remain the same speed. I do have a Proto Series version in Yuri Lackawanna of these models, and it does have a lot more distinctive details built to the Yuri Lackawanna, the MU hoses, um, but they're, they're $250, there's a $100 difference there. I believe they do have a different drive in them. Uh, that is also an excellent locomotive, I just love the prototype details to the exact model. And you have features on that one that has a lot more intricate, like the number boards you can change, with the light on and off, the cab light can go on and off. And then if you have a model that has a beacon or a flashing light, that's one of the functions as well on the Proto models. But once again, they're at least $100 more than the main line. The main lines uh, I have two. They're excellent runners. I'm waiting for another switcher actually to come out as well. Well, I'll give you a little. Your speed step five. It starts rolling. We're about about fifteen now. There's twenty. But I mean, overall, for uh, 150 bucks, really nice engine. 
it's good for a person just getting started out in GCC sound if you're not looking to break the bank. You can also find one on sale probably for uh, closer to 120 maybe. So moving on to the next topic here is train show finds. Gonna run this by real slow. So here are some Proto 2000 gondolas that I got for $5 each at the Edison Greenberg show the last time it was around town. If you look hard enough at shows, you can really find some good deals. I did put KD couplers on them and metal wheels, which I also got for dirt cheap from an auction. Uh, I got like 30 packs of KD number fives for $20 on a random bid. And, um, you know, you can't beat that. You got to get lucky with auctions and stuff like that. Also, these two hopper cars on the end. One's an Atlas, I paid five bucks for that, and new in box. Um, this running on the tail end, I think it's an older blue box, but it looks great for uh, for five dollars. One thing I wanna say here too, is if you're building a unit train, and it's gonna be a ton of coal hoppers, you're not gonna go crazy and buy, you know, 30 super super detailed cars if you really don't want to but if you if you look hard enough you can even find some deals on facebook marketplace ebay ebay gets tricky you do gotta sometimes dig and wait for the right item and hope nobody's gonna bid crazy also trains.com with a z does have an ebay and i've seen some pretty good deals on large bundles of of rolling stock as well like maybe 12 cars for $80, stuff like that. But if you dig deep enough and if you hit the right shows, there's definitely plenty of deals out there. Next item I have a feature here from the Edison show as well. Some Bowser uh, Erie Lackawanna hoppers. I got 12 of these with Katie Coupler's metal wheels for $100. All different numbers. Fairly detailed, pretty good with the rivets and everything. All the data is on there. But once again, for a unit train, especially I'm going to have a lot of coal on this layout. Can't beat it for uh, the price. Like I said, I had 12 of these for $100. As soon as I walked by them, I just had to buy them. 